get in the hook. And that was don't get around much anymore. Notice the octaves, single note, and then single note, little bluesy phrase. And then I like to go on the first time, one, six, two, five, one, six, two. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today on this lesson. It's Don't Get Around Much Anymore for the Jazz Ukulele. Let's get started. Part one, we're gonna go through the A section. I'm gonna break down my chord melody, solo ukulele arrangement. Let's get started. All right, so we start off with this main riff. It's, that's the melody in this. I'm actually doing this. Notice I'm using my pinky to play that melody. I would suggest that. And you wanna get the timing, of course, too. Right now, I'm just demonstrating where the notes are. Okay, it's just on the first string and the second string. And then you wanna practice those adding the octave on. Two strings over and three frets on the ukulele. <laughs> This is a good exercise. And then you want to strum it. And now I want to talk about the dampening, because when you strum, I'm using my middle finger. It's not a chord. It might look like I'm playing a chord, but my middle finger is just dampening that fourth string. And the second string in this case, because we only want the third and first string, the second string is also being dampened, but that's by my left hand, first finger. Okay, so when you strum it, you're only hearing these two notes. So make sure you get that first. No other open strings should be ringing. And then here's the next one. Next one. And then be careful when you cross over. And here it is with the timing. It's on the end of one. Three, four, one. Four, one. Miss a Saturday dance. And then now we want to kick into this chord. And this is uh, F major seven. It's kind of an inversion here. G minor 7, G sharp minor 7, and A minor 7. It's actually just major triads, but again, that's what you would see on the lead sheet here. So it's 1, and 3, 4, and 2, 3, 4, 1, and 3, 4, and. And those anticipations are on the and, and that's what makes it swing and, and like that. And then 4, and. That was chromatic, very bluesy phrase. Single note, blue note. Flat three to the three. One, six, mm. and then you can slide into it. That's a good hook to practice. And that's how I like to end the song. And that's an F9 sharp 11. Pretty jazzy chord So it's there. really important to just isolate and practice each segment very carefully with, and then piece it together. Some people try to learn the whole thing right away and read through it, but I just recommend learn four bars at a time or just two bars, as in this case. 